Welcome to News Talk. We have Matt McKernan here with K-State Research and Extension. He's a horticulturist, which we could really use around now. There's a lot of stress happening during this drought and, and water restrictions mm -hmm. with the plants. Um, and there are so many examples of it. <laughs> what do we look for? So definitely what we're seeing right now is a lot of environmental leaf scorch. And that's a physiological problem with the plant where essentially it can't get enough water up into the leaves to replace the amount of water that it's losing. Often we associate this kind of leaf scorch with drought conditions, but there's a lot of factors that can cause leaves to scorch, um, including the, a damaged root system to our mm -hmm. plants, um, limited soil area, or maybe a hard pan in the soil that's not allowing the roots to grow deeper. And even just hot, dry winds can also cause a lot of this environmental leaf scorch as well. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about the roots and, and mm -hmm. how and the grass, the distance from grass that you need to keep your plants. I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, so one of the ways that we can help our plants when we have environmental leaf scorch is to make sure we're watering deeply, trying to get at least six to 12 inches deep. And uh, we can use something like a screwdriver to measure that. And it's gonna easily press down into the soil when it's wet and kind of stop when it gets to drier soil. That's so how you we know. can see how we can, um, how deep the water is going. But we really want to keep in mind, like you said, the competition between grass and trees. Yeah. They all need the same things, water, nutrients, space to grow. And so oftentimes we can help reduce stress on our plants by removing grass and putting mulch instead in a kind of a three foot area from the trunk out mm -hmm. in order to provide space for just the tree roots to grow in order to take advantage of the water in that area. And, and for those who are just a novice at this, uh -huh. mulch is really important. It is, it's gonna help soil. cool the soil, preserve moisture, uh, does a lot of great things that can really benefit our plants. And somebody like me who's not great, <laughs> I don't have a green thumb, you say don't pull these leaves when they start to brown. Exactly, they're still green in the leaf that's gonna be able to photosynthesize and help the plant grow. So essentially these are gonna fall off when winter comes, so they'll be okay until then. If we have really bad environmental leaf scorch, we could see the tree or shrubs kind of shed those leaves prematurely and be bare going into early winter, late fall. Um, with the environmental leaf scorch, the important things to look for here, typically you're going to see browning around the edges of the leaf, and you can also see browning that occurs in between the leaf right. veins. Okay. Either one of those is typically going to be characteristic of environmental leaf scorch. Well, I feel very educated now. Thank you so much, Good. Matt, as always, for coming in. We'll be